and welcome back to the World Class Battle League channel. We are here for a, another interview, this time with a new coach, um, Austin Torterra, and the coach of the Nottingham Fortress. Hello. Uh, anyways, hopping straight into the questions. How long have you been playing draft league for, Matt? Um, like a year. I started in like August. Uh, my first league was um, uh, I actually created my own league called the MBL. Uh, yeah, nice, nice. it's still going strong. Now I'm guessing it's not like the super famous doubles league, right? No, oh, no. Okay. I was about to say if we... <laughs> <laughs> you made that. Um. Anyways, how have you usually placed in leagues you've been in? Um. I always seem to make playoffs in every league I'm in, but I've never won a league. I seem to like choke uh, every first or second week. I've only made the finals once in any league, and of course, my loss in the finals because I'm bad. Sounds like me, to be honest. Um, if you've watched my WCBL playoff runs, where I've lost, I've choked every time I've lost. It's, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, choking, choking sucks. Uh, yeah, so playoffs, is, playoffs are really fun. Um, they're very stressful too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, uh, what's your favorite play style and why? Um, I like balance and bulky offense. Balance because, you know, balance and bulky offense because I love being able to check um, my opponent's offense and also hitting back with a strong move, you know? Yeah. Uh, bulky offense is, like, really solid. I think both people that have done an interview have entered bulky offense, so... Yeah. Uh, what's your favorite Pokemon and why? So casually and competitively. <clears throat> okay. Um. Uh, obviously Torterra. Torterra. So in general. Know. Yeah. Um. Uh, I like Arcanine in draft the most because it can be offensive and defensive. Um, it's just great, great design. Yeah, I mean, I was, I remember back in my like first league, my cousin drafted a Torterra, and I think he made it be the Landorus, <laughs> which was Oof. really dope. Uh, next up, we uh, what is your favorite type, casually and competitively? Um, I don't know why, but I like ground. Um. Competitively, I like. Mm, I don't really know. That's fair. Um, I like all. I like all types. Yeah. Uh, what was your favorite generation? Um, generation four. I just loved the story, the champion and the bad team. Yeah, generation four was really dope. Uh, what do you think is essential to draft league success? Um, I think good uh, drafting good cores and uh, drafting mons you're familiar with. So, fire, water, grass, dragon, so fairy, that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, comfortability, yeah, like what you said, drafting mons you're familiar with, comfortable. That's a. Because, you know. How how bad would it be if you went into a league with, you know, let's say Blaze Spawn, you didn't know how you liked it and you hated it, and then it's just like, oh no, I have no trades left or something. Or there are no good tier ones left. So, yeah. Comfortability is definitely a great thing. Uh what do you like better, Megas or Zeus? Megas. Zemos are just stupid. Most people say that. That's literally, I think, only two or 
three people have ten seasons. Which is insane. Oof. Uh, what is the best budget slash steel Pokemon and why? So in our tiers, if you've been looking at them. Yeah. Um, I think Substriker is a good one. Mm-hmm. Fast electric can hit on both sides. Um, and Kofagrigus. Mm. It seems like it. It's um, it's very reliable. Um, good defensive wall. Mummy is really good. It can be a trick room setter. It can even sweep with Nasipla if you uh, do it correctly. <laughs> yeah. Um. There's there are some nice ones. Uh, I don't know about the trick. I think it's like fine there, but I use I tried to use it in MLB and I didn't like it. So. Uh. What is your favorite unconventional set you've used before? Um, I think I've used a rock polish dawn fan before, Ooh, and a uh, salic berry, endeavor, and door man was fine. Ooh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Uh, just letting you know. I am the king of unconventional sets. <laughs> uh, in a match, I had for I had a match for fun like the other day. I brought roleplay mm-hmm. for Fru, just so I could get Toxic Heal from Gliscor, which was funny, but sadly it didn't work out. No. Um. Do you have to for? Bleh, do you prefer to have a plan for a draft or just wing it? Um, I always plan it. So you got your plan? I, I, um, not yet. (laughs) I think everyone in Everband probably has their plan already, because we just want to start, which we can't yet. Yeah, Like I'm interested in... If I could make the decision that Everband could start today, I would, but, one, we have to wait for Antoine to come back, and two, it would be unfair to Indigo, because then they have to wait and it gets all weird, so. Yeah. Uh, have you, how have you been enjoying, like, the server so far, like, since you're a new coach and everything? Um, uh, it's been fun. Um, nothing really happening, though. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you're not usually on when everything's uh, happening, because you're, what, six hours ahead or something? I don't know. I don't know what's yeah, going um, for you. Yeah, I'm living in Europe, so. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you feel about, like, having two basically different leagues? So, it's a bit, what do you think about the divisions? Mm, I think it's something different. Um, yeah. Right. I don't really know. I mean, hopefully, uh, you'll have a good season. I wish luck to you in the draft and your upcoming WCBL season. Uh, yeah, lastly, thank you. do you have any questions for me? Um. Are you a good player? Uh, I think so. I, I mean, I'm definitely decent. I make playoffs, <laughs> like, all the time, so. So, yeah. Okay. I think I'm okay. pretty good. Uh, Evergrande does good have to some... Know. Evergrande does have some good competition. We got Killua. We got Rogue, so. At least you're not in Indigo with all the Tier 1 sweats. Anyways, yeah. I think I'll wrap up our interview. Thanks for joining me, and peace.